Welcome, Leo and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a twin flame love reading. This is intended for twin flames, but if you happen to be um, intuitively drawn here, regardless of if you resonate with that term, the messages here could still resonate for you. Okay, so I'm going to refer to Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. I am not talking of physical gender. The Divine Masculine is the person less awoken to the connection, usually running from it, and the Divine Feminine is the one who is more emotional, more in tune with the spiritual tie that you have together. Okay, so for the collective. There's always timestamps in the description box if you're ever wanting to skip ahead. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is the overall energy of this connection between the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine? What's going on in this connection, please? What is going on in this connection, please? The answer is yes. Union. Okay. Under the deck is Fresh Start. So there's a new beginning here. Let us see. We have the answer is yes. Not only that, it's a smoldering yes. There's fire. There's passion behind this answer. We have union. We have divine masculine. We have patience. Action. And shadow work. I'm going to be very honest with what I'm immediately intuitively feeling. Um, I feel like this is a secret connection and you know, I don't know why, but the second this card came out, I completely saw, it. I've read for it in other readings this week. I've seen it come out, but this is the first time this message has come through. I'm seeing this moon here and the moon in traditional tarot is all about like secrets or things that are hidden or not expressed things that are, you know, I don't know why I'm, I'm seeing them at night, like a secrets union or connection. Um, that's just really heavily coming out to me. And again, please take the messages that resonate. Leave the ones that do not. Don't force things that are not yours. This is for a collective of people. This could resonate for 10 of you, 100 of you, 1,000 of you. In which case, there could be specific messages for specific people here. Okay? We have divine masculine and patience. I think this masculine is waiting to take action for his feminine. And again, with shadow work, it's kind of like working through some dark things. But I'm kind of feeling like this masculine is like something about meeting you at night meeting their feminine at night there's some kind of like passionate encounter connection it's like this it's like you want to be like you're asking each other a question right let me see let's pull cards but i want to know more about this let's see all right clear messages and guidance oh immediately coming out here is the knight of coins and the star aquarius earth energy here it's like an offer that somebody has wished for, dreamed about. All right, let's see. Let's look at the Divine Masculine first. We're going to look at his thoughts about his feminine and their connection. His feelings for her and what he feels about their connection. His intentions here. And the actions she can expect from him. So, what is his thoughts about the connection? It makes him happy. It's everything that he's ever asked for, hoped for, wanted. Uh, it's, it's the, this can also be a little bit of an overindulgent energy too. Like he can't get enough of her. He can't stay away from her. He can't stop thinking about her. Um, you know, it's like she's, she's intoxicating even. Yeah, it's how he thinks of her. His feelings for her. Okay. Yeah. There's very, again, I'm getting like this steamy, fi smoldering, like fiery, intense, very physical you get what I'm saying? Nine of Wands is like passion and like, you know, desire. It's like heated. It's like, I can't, it's like, look at his eyes. It's like, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm hearing bedroom eyes for somebody. It's like the way you look at each other, like you just can't get enough of each other. Um, very intense energy. Ooh. Uh, intentions. What does he want here? Or Phil needs to happen. The death card something has to transform something has to end scorpio energy he may think that she needs to end something in her circumstances or he needs to do this something has to change his actions what can she expect some kind of communication some kind of quick movement here gemini libra aquarius energy we have strong fire aries leo sag scorpio energy There's some kind of 
direct message he's going to send to her. He wants to ask her something very directly, very bluntly. I think her answer is yes to this. I think that he, she has a question for him. I think you have the same question on your mind. Are you doing, are you willing to do whatever it takes to make this work? Are you willing to make changes? Are you willing to choose me? That's what I'm hearing. The answer is yes. Uh, let's look at the feminine. Let's look at her thoughts about the connection, how, what she thinks about her masculine and their connection. Cards are trying to fly out, but it's just too many. Let's see. What does she think about their connection, please? There was a missed opportunity in the past, and there's like a sadness here. Five of Cups. She misses him. She wants to be with him, waiting to connect with him, waiting to hear from him. She knows it's not over, but there is like this sadness here, like something changed or it's an element of like trying to be patient if plans fell through in the past even is what i'm getting five of cups she's missing him thinking of him wanting to be together with him waiting for the opportunity will you wait for me yes patience her feelings in the situation her feelings for the masculine in the situation yeah she's waiting anticipating yearning hoping praying Waiting for the opportunity, waiting for him to reconnect with her, waiting to see each other, waiting to be together. This can also be like a planned trip. Something that she's lo anticipating, looking forward to. Intentions. What does she want to happen here? What does she intend to do here? What is her intention with this connection? To fight for it. To not let anybody hold them back from each other. Seven of Wands. I will protect what is mine at all costs. We're supposed to be together and I'm not going to let anybody tell us otherwise. You know, if it comes to it, you'll do whatever it takes to protect this relationship. And she wants to know that her masculine will do the same. Actions that she can expect, or I'm sorry, her actions and what guidance do we have for her potential actions in the future. Justice. There could be a legal situation here or even a Libra involved. But this is about balancing the scales here. Virgo just had this exact same card. So the Tower Scorpio energy. And then we have the world in the Ace of Wands with the Queen of Wands. Woo. Yeah, I, I, I'm just getting a lot of physical energy. This For some of you, this could have started as like a, a very intense physical connection. Very unexpected. This can represent a very phallic energy with the Tower. Kind of like, you know, rock your world kind of energy. This is something, like, there's a lot of communication here, a lot of passionate messages, I feel, a lot of uh, anticipation on travel, a lot of desire and chemistry here. Two people who are physically can't stay away from each other. It's like all you do is obsess and think about each other, like you're obsessed with each other. It's like all you think about. You just want to be together. You just want to, like, figure this out. She's going to try to do the right thing here. She's going to try to figure out how to make this work despite the obstacles, the challenges that are present. I, so I do see a fresh start here. I do see like this is not over, like it's just beginning. All right, what are the obstacles and challenges preventing this connection? What should we pair for here? Yeah, wealthy man. Somebody may have a reputation that's kind of important to them. Uh, we also have high honor here. So it's something about, some, there's a lot at risk here. We have thief and expectation. So I think that, I think that somebody is kind of, we have a feminine here who's waiting to reconnect with her masculine. It's like deep down she knows, you know, in her heart, in her mind that there will be communication. That they are coming back together, but she's like a period of waiting, trying to be patient again. It's something about like meeting quietly. Again, thief, I get like seven of swords energy. We have to keep this quiet. It has to, you know, be hidden. The answer is yes. Like you both want to be together, right? This masculine here, though, is asking you to be patient. They will take action towards you, but there's got to be like, they're, they're working through something. They're trying to work through something. Like behind the scenes, it's like this has to stay quiet. It's like secret rendezvous energy. You can't stay away from each other kind of thing. It's like there's going to be this discussion or something privately. Talking about the situation, this expectation that's had. She may, be, she may also be waiting for like a legal matter to be resolved. But she wants to see that her masculine is making whatever efforts is necessary to be with her. Okay. 
Here we have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings and engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. And under here it does say true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. I feel like this is like something that was, this, this connection was not anticipated. Like whatever happened here, it just kind of came out of nowhere. And like when you guys connected, that was it. Like you only had eyes for each other. You could only see each other. Like you can't even think straight when you're together. Cause it's like, it's just this intense thing that just takes over. It's, I feel like there's some kind of hesitation here though about, or had, or had previously been in regards to someone's position. So whether this person's highly viewed in their community, maybe they're like your boss, they're older than you. You know, there's some kind of public figure and that's been a bit of an issue. Maybe even a celebrity or something. Um, somebody whose reputation is very important to them. Some of you, they could have been married, but I don't really, I really don't get that for the most of you. But it's like something about this connection has to kind of be quiet. It's like, there's a lot riding on it. Like how everyone will perceive them. Everything will change. It, it may compromise their wealth or their income. It's like hidden or quiet. There could be gossip or people that you're trying to kind of keep out of things. And like you're waiting for this person. You find yourself waiting for this person. It's like you know you're going to come together and you're willing to do whatever it takes to fight for this. I mean, here we have in the actions, you know, the advice, justice. There will be balance here. I think you want to see that this person is going to do whatever it takes to bring this out of the shadows. There's some kind of meeting here and I think there's some kind of proposal. Now for some of you, it definitely could be an engagement. But that's not always necessarily what it means. This is like taking it to the next level you know where you know if you're if you're just acquaintances they're not going to propose to you get what i'm saying it may be let's let's start dating let's make this official let's go out let's move in together like whatever the next step pertains to be there is love here all right so let me um pull an additional deck clear messages and guidance for Okay, one card's already coming out, but I feel like I need another one. Let's see. Okay. So here we have these. This one says, You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there's always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. And this one here says, give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. Yeah, I feel like there's some kind of like energy of like waiting here and like disappointment in the past. But it's like soon you're going to understand like why it didn't work out in the past or why it couldn't move ahead at that point in time. And you will be happy in the end. There's going to be a blessing here. Love comes. Look at this. A blessing will soon be revealed. Give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. I don't know why for some of you, if this person is like going through like a nasty divorce or separation and like it was very public and there's a lot of drama or about it, that could be a part of it as well and or you vice versa. And that's why things are kind of hidden or quiet right now. We have things to kind of die down and then understanding ultimately that, you know, through that, through that turmoil, something better came of it that led that you guys in the right path toward each other. But you're going to have all that your heart truly desires. I feel like you're both kind of waiting. Like you can't stay away from each other. The answer here is yes. The questions that you have for this person. This person definitely has things to work through for sure. But I definitely see like patience paying off. Action being taken. A meeting that takes place. Like, you cannot stay away from each other. It's like you're obsessed with each other or something. It's like you, you both want this just as bad you know that's your fear that they don't maybe want this the same way that you want the same intensity that you want that's not the case at all this person definitely wants to pursue this and see you know what can come of this i feel like there could have been something kind of unexpected here but ultimately i just see a lot of passion and desire here i see a new beginning here maybe even potentially travel like being patient and waiting opens up an opportunity to, tra to travel to each other for some of you too, it could be waiting for a relationship to end, you know, and that's opening the door for a new relationship once like the dust has settled. Because again, like it, I feel something like, you know, one door closes, you have to make sure that it's fully closed before you open the new one. Something has to fully kind of settle first so the two of you can actually be together in a harmonious relationship with no difficulties or obstacles. But I see like a meeting about this. 
So that's what I have for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. Thank you for those of you who have sent in donations. It is truly appreciated. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. As always, I wish you strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.